What's happening, Nerd Hammer Clan? All Crew and Hammer here, back again for another edition of our Let's Build series. And uh, last time we worked on our lovely sawmill, and today we are going to be working on the diagonal house. And honestly, I have no idea what I'm doing. This is going to be completely freehand. Uh, so you're going to get to see me uh, pretty much just uh, wing it. Yeah, we're going to wing it. So uh, the first thing I was thinking about was how how one of the biggest challenges of of doing a diagonal build is how to translate uh, an already established design like this over to um, a diagonal because in Minecraft it's not just as simple as to rotating at forty five degrees. Um, that being said, I do believe that I'm going to try my best here at replicating a passable 45 degree house that's sort of uh, I mean you know it's it's got to stay true to the style of home that we already have established um, I'm not exactly sure what I want to do about an entrance yet I was thinking about bringing off um, let's see um, right here it seems good enough let's bring this out here and we will one two three sort of create a yeah you know what one two and then we will have the entrance sort of off like this uh never mind that looks terrible i think it needs to come out here maybe um or even smaller something like this I'm not 100 percent sure yet, but the idea was since this is a diagonal house, we just sort of have like this little jut. I'm gonna just worry about the house for now. I'm not gonna so much worry about where the door and all that stuff's gonna go yet. Let's try to get a nice shape going. Let's let's start by instead of placing down. See, we're working at a diagonal here, so what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna end up like this. And, ah, yes, I think this is what we're going to end up doing. Two, three, oh, come on. I'm having a little bit of technical difficulties placing down my blocks. Just like that one. Got to work on hitting those hitboxes. All right, I think that'll work. For what we're what we're trying to do here. Two, three, four. One, two. Come on. Come on. Two, three, four, and five. There we go. And that that sort of has our um our sort of slanted thing going on here, like we have on the rest of the houses. And we'll go ahead and raise up this by one we'll go ahead and fill this in and we'll work from there I'm not gonna time-lapse this because it's not gonna take me long um, like I was saying before the biggest challenge of course about building diagonally in Minecraft is translating something that you could easily do on a sort of flat surface on a on a right angle to something that is not on a right angle at all and like this is gonna be a small house like interior speaking uh, like we're gonna have to figure out how to do windows gonna have to figure out literally everything as we go along uh, let's do this but yeah I just wanted to do a small house this is more or less um, 
an experiment, really. It really is. It's it's really more of an experiment. In it may be a complete failure. I don't know yet. I honestly don't know how this is going to end up. But you guys are here to see it one way or another. And that's we're gonna put this right here. There we go. See that kinda I'm thinking I'm thinking that we're gonna have to make this wider, because look how narrow that is. Yeah, um, I'm going to make this wider really quick, and I'll be right back with the recording. I don't really want to time-lapse this bit, because I'm just tearing down and basically pasting it right back. So, be right back. All right. I went ahead and decided to take the liberty of raising up the frame, because I had a little bit of difficulty going back and forth. Um, well, not difficulty. I just had to go back and forth a little bit with the proportions. And, whoops. I... Missed. If you guys hear music, hopefully it doesn't actually pick up on my mic. But if you guys hear any sort of like bass sounds or music, somebody is outside my apartment, like just jamming out right now. I don't even know. Um, they got a good. It's got a good beat going on, but I don't know. Um, not exactly sure what's going on right now. So, um, yeah. So if you can hear it through the mic, I'm sorry, I apologize. Um, all right, so here we go, have our diagonal layout. This is the easy part though. The hardest part about this build is going to be the roof, um, for sure, because that's, that's gonna be difficult. Let's go ahead and try to get a door established perhaps. I thinking I'm thinking about uh, putting it right here okay, like I was gonna try to do before except this time I think I'm just gonna make it simple and we will create the door here bring this out a little bit just like so and um yeah let's let's bring this in here and create some sort of a porch there there we go and there's our door i don't i don't know how any of this is going to look to be completely honest i don't know how this is going to look when we get done um, could look great, could look absolutely terrible, but don't know until you try, right? There we go. Let's grab a, wait, do we already have a door? Okay, yeah. Uh, spruce, spruce, or should I do oak? Did I do oak over here? No, I did spruce. All right. I don't know why I got the oak door then. I've been doing spruce with this stuff because I think the darker wood looks better. There we go. That doesn't look too bad. Now, the biggest challenge, like I said, though, is going to be the roof. And actually, that being said, I think it would be prudent to leave this the way it is and actually just make this uh, something of an overhang that sort of comes out. So let's let's do that really quick. Let's create this overhang portion. Um, let's bring this out here. And it doesn't have to be anything fancy. It can just be uh, there, there, oops, alrighty, and 
will, of course, go up like this. That doesn't look too bad. And last but not least, we'll create Uh, we'll do this. We'll use the slab. There we go. And that'll do for now. That'll do. There we go. Actually, that kind of looks cool. Um, it's just sort of like tucked away there. That's why I really wanted to do this project is because it was going to force me to um, expand a little bit. Did I get rid of the glass? Nope, it's right there. There we go. Uh, it was going to force me to expand a little bit in my style and how I how I do things um, and challenge me to be a better builder. And I, I encourage you to do the same thing. I do. I encourage you to, um, if you feel... Um, you know, like you are sort of stagnant and you feel like um, maybe you could be doing things better. Maybe you could. Um, and uh, I definitely encourage you to go for it when it comes to... Uh, yeah, when it comes to uh, learning different building techniques and things like that. I'm not 100% sure on this though. One, two, one, two. What I may end up doing is coming in and filling it like this for the frame. That way it's just the wood showing. Yeah, I, I like that better. Not a huge fan of the other. Um, of having the exposed log on the on the side there. On the bottom, it's not so bad. Um, but having it jut out like that, at least on the long portions here on the side, not a huge fan. All right, and there we go for now. Uh, let's let's see how that looks. Uh, well, in comparison to our others, we're we're pretty on on point here. Let's grab that. Bring it here. My biggest issue is going to be figuring out, like I said, the roof. And I might pause the video. Uh, I think that's what I'm going to have to do, actually, because I'm going to have to do so much just fiddling around with this roof that I think what I'm going to do here is pause the video again. Um, sorry, there won't be a whole lot of time lapse, maybe even no time lapse in this video, but uh, like I normally do. I like to put the time lapse in so you guys can follow along and see what I'm doing. But since there's going to be so much trial and error involved, and I don't want to make this just a two-hour episode, um, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video fiddle around with the roof a little bit, see what we can come up with, and I will be right back with you guys to show you my progress. Welcome back guys, and I'm really glad that I did end up pausing that because there was a lot of work to be done with this roof. Um, a lot of trial and error. I actually ended up building it one block too high and I had to redo the entire thing and bring it down. And um, if you look at it from a side profile here, it doesn't look too bad. Um, being for, for a diagonal roof, you know, it doesn't look too bad. Actually, it looks kind of like a regular house uh, with like this little diagonal offshoot for the door there. I actually kind of like it um, in, a, in an odd way. Like it doesn't quite look right. It doesn't quite look like as good as one of these houses that's just straight on. But I think for trying to add like a, a, a diagonal feature, I think it's not that bad. Um, but we're not done just yet. I still got to add the chimney. And I wanted to go ahead and do that on camera since I hadn't done a whole lot of building on camera today. I did want to build a chimney with you guys. I'm going to put it right here. One, two, and... Yeah, we're going to take this out. Three, four. There we go. And we'll throw these out here. 
certainly shouldn't be so bad because it's going to be pretty straightforward um, instead of having to do a bunch of shapes. So that's a good thing because um, it's it's much more difficult. The roof uh, was definitely pretty difficult to to handle. So here we just kind of sort of have like this little this chimney shape. And then what we're going to do with that is I'm actually going to end up bringing it out a little bit sideways. Yeah, I think I'm going to offset it just a little bit. That way it doesn't interfere too badly. Uh, let's bring it out here. Maybe. Maybe not. Let's see. Let's see how this goes first. Thinking to put it right here. And then of course to add our sort of typical feature there. Take some of these stone stairs, place them going here like this, cobblestone right here. That way it's not such a drastic slope. I think it doesn't look too bad. I think that actually looks pretty good. I think the other thing that we need to do now is bring these in. So, because the thing about dealing with diagonals is that uh, you have to be a little bit creative when it comes to making slopes, especially if you're trying to make a slope that's simulating a straight slope, quote unquote. Um, it's not. It's not that easy. It's not. It's not easy at all, actually. Um, you do have to do a lot of a lot of work with it. Do some finagling with it. Uh, I think I think that that would look pretty good. Put these in there on the side. I think that doesn't look too bad from the outside. What do you think? I don't think that looks bad at all. I think uh, I'm actually gonna remove this and add this back. And same thing on the other side, because I don't. It doesn't have to be that way. All right, there we go. So it kind of stands out a little bit. Um, oh, we could. Oh no, we can't, because that's going to take away the sides. Uh, let's go inside really quick and see how everything looks. Everything's sort of coming together pretty nicely, though. Let's go on inside our door. Let's take a look from the inside. All right, right there. Gonna see a problem here. All right, chimney's gonna go right here. Oh, not chimney, but the, uh... oh, it's experiencing a little bit of lag here, guys. Um, yeah, we will take this. It down that way. Pretty sure we can do this too. There we go. And then we will take this there. I like to try to, even from the inside, I like to try to create some sort of sense of direction or purpose function. Always, always try to be functional with, with everything. And that way. You don't end up with like really weird looking stuff. Um, all right, so the heart's gonna be have to be a little bit different, but that's okay. Different is good. Variation is good. There we go. 
Hey, that doesn't look too bad, actually. Um, a little bit of cleaning up here and there. And uh, I think that actually looked really kind of nice. Let's take this up. That actually kind of looks neat, actually, in my opinion. I think that looks kind of cool. Uh, take this and put that there. Add some stone stairs to either side. And then all you got to do is put your fire right in here and your cauldron and whatnot. And that kind of looks kind of looks cool. Uh, let's add. Slope right there. There you go. So that's sort of it trailing off this way a little bit. And that looks like a, a, a pretty decent uh, primitive, but decent fireplace. And I think we're actually going to end it right there. Um, let's take a look at the village as a whole. Let's take a look at our progress really quick. Um, I think that everything is going pretty good. Um, the sawmill over here is looking good. The fisherman's hut, the houses, everything's just looking pretty nice. It's coming along. We still have the inn coming in the future. That's going to be probably like a three part video because even though that outline doesn't look very big, the inn is actually going to be end up being bigger than that. Um, it's going to be the biggest building in the village. So. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to come in and off screen, I'm going to add the square because I mean, all I'm going to be doing is like what I did with the roads, except like in a circle. And I'm going to add a couple more of these houses that you've already seen me build. And then next week, we are going to start the inn. And that should just about tie everything up, guys. We are getting close to having a nice finished village a nice little hamlet tucked away and uh we are really close to the end of this series um unfortunately it's kind of sad but like i said that's probably gonna be like a three-part video so it's probably gonna take a few weeks to get done and uh so you'll you'll be able to still enjoy these videos for another several weeks before we start on something different um it's been a lot of fun i'll be glad to see it all finished though until next time, guys, I'm Hawk Rune Hammer, signing out. Stay creative, stay positive.